On Sunday, it is Clean Up Australia Day. It is, and uh, you probably remember helping out with Clean Up Australia Day as a kid. I was a Boy Scout. Oh, of course, you were a Boy Scout. So hey, why, we loved Clean Up Australia Day. You said to us, why do you? Why did you love it? Because we got a barbecue at oh. the end of it and it was free. <laughs> I don't know if it needed to be sung. It did, though. <laughs> um, it really, really did. Oh, God, I loved it so much. Because you just hang out with your mates. You do. You and you're do. just chatting. Sure, you're picking up rubbish, but whatever, because you're chatting and you're hanging out and you're trying to poke each other with the poker. And um, <laughs> did you have the pokers? We're girls. We weren't trying to poke each other with the pokers. Okay, all right. um, which you're not meant to do, uh, but I loved it. Yes, well, Clean Up Australia Day, as you said, for 2024 is this Sunday, the 3rd of March, and uh, we are joined by Tara Chain, uh, MLA, to discuss what's on around Canberra for Clean Up Australia Day. Good morning. Good morning. Tara, what do you do with the poker? Do you... <laughs> Do you muck around you as well? Or is you it... cannot ask someone um, that. Everything that I expected to be asked this morning. Okay. <laughs> that was just not uh, even in my wish. This is not the ABC, Tara. <laughs> um, very um, so uh, Clean Up Australia Day, it's on Sunday, this Sunday, and from 9 until 12 uh, noon there's a couple of places where we can go and help out. There's more than a couple, actually. Oh, so there's more than 50 right across wow. the ACT. So we've got such a good turnout from many, many, many volunteer groups, including Scouts. Um, but also the ACT government uh, is stepping up its support. So every year for decades now, um, we've been out and about basically doing the council role that you see in other jurisdictions of taking the rubbish that people collect to the places that it needs to go to be disposed of. Yep. Um, but this weekend on Sunday from 9am, um, people go to Didham's Close near Lake Chinandera or the Learn to Ride Centre on um, Mortimer Lewis Drive in Greenway or Tuggeranong. Um, you will see crews from ACT government and you can join in. And at the end, yes, there will be a barbecue. <laughs> oh, he got what he wanted. <laughs> oh, but which one do I go I'm to? I'm going to see you there, aren't I? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm not far from Belco. It's happening. <laughs> Um, this is excellent because uh, it's great. We do have to clean up stuff. Yeah, absolutely. You know? And um, teach the kids as well when they're really young, bring them to along. Do. Yeah, and you can have some fun. You get to have a chat. It's like it's the same as like when you go walking with your girlfriends or your mates around one of the lakes. A hot girl walk. Yeah, if, yeah, if you're doing a hot girl walk, this time you're just picking pick up, up rubbish. rubbish you go, too. Which is good exercise, it, right, Sammy? Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, it has many, many benefits and well-being ones as well, but it also helps um, – our crews with their efficiency and productivity. So you can imagine, like, let's relate it to mowing, for example. Yep. If a crew is out and there's pretty long grass that they're trying to get on top of and they come across a dumped mattress or a pile of rubbish that they need to pick up first. Um, so obviously we've got our litter pickers who go in um, – before the mowing team goes through. But sometimes things are missed. Sometimes yep. things can't be easily seen, especially when the grass is growing at the rate that it is. Mm. And so it can be really inefficient for our crews to come across something like a mattress. And you can imagine what a soggy mattress uh, does in terms of weight. Oh, my God. Uh, Heavy and to, stinky. Yeah. So to, to have to move that, you know, it's just very hard for our teams to then keep on top of what their program is. So I think this is just a great reminder this weekend that even if you're not able to participate, we can all do our bit. Rubbish doesn't come from the ground. Rubbish comes from people. Mm. So um, even if you're not able to pick up at least having a, a weekend where you're thinking about how you dispose of your rubbish, carrying it with you where you can, that would be just so appreciated by all of our crews who are out there working in some pretty harsh conditions this summer. Also, just a reminder for people who's hearing free barbecue, you've got to be a volunteer or one of the crew members <laughs> to get the free barbecue. Yes, uh, that would be uh, what we would... No, expect. demand. You don't, don't, get, you don't have to say suggest. If you're not picking out rubbish, you don't get a free snag in your gob. Uh, it's that simple. Hey, uh, Tara Chain, MLA, thank you so much for uh, joining us this morning and letting us know where we can help. 
Such a pleasure. See you on Sunday. If you want to find out more, uh, you can search Clean Up Australia Day 2024 ACT into Google and it will come up with a website with a bunch of different places. uh, Over 50, as you heard.